So take a look, you guys. This was a massive project. Basically, in the pictures you just saw, where before pictures, before we put the textile down. Now, it's called the geotextile because it's actually really, really heavy fabric. And what we need to do is protect the sides. As you can see, the bank is eroding to our dugout. And it's going to erode really close to our chicken coop or birdhouse basically every year we're losing the bank why because the ducks as you can see in the picture they are basically the ducks and the geese are drilling underneath making the bank fall into the dugout basically they are eroding the dugout you can see my husband there up on the tree he is literally sizing up this tree on how to take it down this is an 80 foot tree and he needs to knock down this tree Don't lose your wedges. That's a mighty tree. Get it out of the water. <laughs> Doesn't look that deep in there. That's a job for another day. Uh, now, Daddy, there, there, there was some uh, wave. Did you see how high the water went? I know. Here we're starting on the bank, and this was a massive, massive job. I mean. It was hot. We picked a good week. We had lots of rain before, so we had to really, really be choosy when we did this, but also not wait forever because of the continuous rain. So you can see my husband here. He is working really hard, moving some dirt, um, and basically we put the geotextile down, and on this particular bank, we had to add a lot of, of soil back. And because of this, he had to remove a lot of dirt. And you can see he had, he's even on, on uh, wooden mats because otherwise the tractor would sink. And so basically he's going to take a scoop load here. He's going to drive up on the bank and then dump it on the geotextile to hold it down. 
and then he's gonna we're gonna flip that geotextile over the dirt and secure it with six inch staples into the ground so basically we're recreating the slope um, without a massive excavation so that was the plan on this side of the dugout and we really had to take every side in a different way because because every side proposed its own challenges and so this particular side was the slowest to get done just because we had to add in so much dirt and so you can see the geotextile there is stapled he pours in the or dumps in the dirt and then we will pull the fabric over So with the help of my children here, you can see Nova is going to be stapling, Ocean is going to be stapling, Orion is, and I was helping, but I grabbed my camera to get um, some footage of this. So this really, really was a team effort. So basically, they're going to add in these staples and finish this side. Balls. Are you guys having fun in the mud? Yeah. yeah. You know how hard this work is, but you know what? The, I was inside finishing dishes. I come out here, and instead of having grumpy kids having to move all of this mud, they have decided that it would be fun to play a game in it, get right dirty, move all this clay, and make a hard job fun and that's what we have to remember because this is a hard job we have been sweating doing this and it is warm out and these guys are having fun it is a lot of clay to move because we can't get the tractor in here because believe it or not what looks like dry is not dry it's it, the tractor sinks 
And these guys, the shovels aren't working that great. And they're tucker out the kids. And so look at them now. So as you saw my kids there putting the clay onto the side. Now we were doing that because like I had said before, we could not take the tractor. It was the tractor would just sink. And so the day before myself, my husband, all the kids were out there putting the clay and they decided to do it the kid way, which I thought was a fantastic idea. And they were finishing up the edge. Now, as they were finishing up that particular side of the edge, my husband here is taking the tractor and he's harvesting such beautiful decomposed soil for the bottom of the dugout here that normally is covered with water. Since we had to pump out the dugout, at least at least three quarters of the dugout we pumped out to expose so we could do this project it was a rare opportunity to actually harvest some really really good dirt for planting around the property so he's making a pile of that and then basically it poured for a week after this day we had about four hot days i think they were the only really hot days of july when we did this and we worked like crazy to get this done and i was so thankful that it was actually on john's holidays that we did this project so we could work on it all through the day and into the evening to get this project done Are your sisters hard at work, Meadow? Are they hard at work? Yeah? Thunder. <laughs> Mommy, every time that we put on a scoop.
husband, he had a slip and you can see his ankle is so swollen, yet he will not stop. And he can't even put pressure on this ankle. He sprained his ankle so bad. So he was out collecting eggs and it was been so wet and he was looking at guinea eggs in the bush and he slipped on a wet log and bam i mean it happened so fast and so here he's giving directions to my children and to myself i'm behind the camera for the moment but he's giving directions so the kids know what to do and he is determined to get this project done hurt or not